Good morning, Velma Hagar Restino here. This morning I want to talk about your environment. Did you know, look at I always fix my hair when I'm in here. <laughs> Did you know that your environment will affect your personality? If you're living in squalor, if your house is filthy, if if you don't pick up your own mess, your whole what you see out here is what's going on in here. When you see a mess, you have to know that something's out of order. You want to up, you want to fluff your little character up, fluff your house up, fluff your environment up. You don't have to buy new things either. Don't say, "Well, I can't afford it. I don't have the money." No, it's not that. A little elbow grease, clean the place, fluff it up, move things around. You know, I am a, I am a, absolutely a fanatic for keeping everything in order. And making my environment clean and pretty. My house is beautiful. And it's not, it's not because I have money. I mean, I do have a little money. But when I didn't, my house was still beautiful. I remember very well when I first, I see this little hair stick. <laughs> picking up. When I first got married, my husband and I had three children and we were really struggling. And so I didn't have a lot of money to do things. But I still made sure my house was so sweet. I remember one time my husband's friend came and he said, he went into the bathroom and, and I had these little, it was tacky, it was really tacky what I did, but it showed love. I got some little turquoise rickrack and I put it all around the mirrors in the bathroom. And I remember he came out and he said, you know, you can sure tell you love this house. And you know, that's all you have to do is just show that you love it. You don't have to have a lot of money. At, you know, there's something that comes up on the top of my thing, and I don't know, maybe it's cutting off my hair, or something that pops up on my screen here. So I really want to encourage you, you know, go to the secondhand store, buy a little bouquet of flowers, buy a silk plant, something to give your house a little charm. You know, when people come into my house, they always say, oh my gosh, your house is so charming. Yes, it's, it's, it's magical. My house is magical. Because you know why? It matters to me. It makes me feel good. And it'll make you feel good too. Everybody needs to have a tidy environment. We serve, we serve a God who is very organized. I guarantee you he's organized. And we have that character in us. And if you're faithful with what God gives you, you puff it up and you make the best of it, I guarantee you God will give you more. Because if you're faithful with a little, you'll get a lot. That has been my mantra all my life and I've been faithful with what I had and you know I remember my mother we used to live in chicken coops you guys we actually lived in chicken coops my mother used to get fabric and hang it up and make little you know tie backs and sweep the floors even if you had to she had to use a pine cone or pine branch to do it she made sure where we lived was as clean and as sweet as it could be and I want to encourage you guys today Make sure that you keep your little area clean. And get my book, you guys. It is full. It is chapped full. I try to show this and it's backwards. At least it looks backwards to me. I don't know, maybe it won't to you on that other side. Hidden Treasures in Secret Places. Velma Hagar Restino. Buy it. Buy the book, Amazon.com. And tidy up your environment today. Blessings on all of you. Bye. Tidy up yourself, too.